Hello and thanks for your interest in this screencast. Since Microsoft discontinued their Windows Small Business Server line of products, Sential Server is the only alternative to have a native replacement for both Microsoft Active Directory and Microsoft Exchange in the SMB. This tutorial is one of a series of screencasts where we are going to demonstrate Sential Server capabilities as a native replacement of these Microsoft solutions. We are going to show the different use cases running real examples. In order to do this, we will use virtual machines to deploy these scenarios. In this third scenario, and starting from the last one, we are going to perform a total migration, which means transferring all the main domain roles, also known as operation masters, from the Windows Server to Sentia. After we have completed this operation, we have several op options here depending on the final scenario we want to deploy. We can keep the Windows servers. For example, if we have some accounting application that only runs under Windows, or we can decide to get rid of these servers, continuing only with the Sential server without losing any of the domain services. If we go to our Windows server, and from the command line, we can check which server has the operation masters now. As we see here, all the operation masters, these five roles, now belong to the Windows server. This is expected because this was the first server in the domain and the one that created the domain. Now, if we log into our Sentinel server, and also using the command line, we can navigate to this route. This is specifying the official Sentinel documentation dot dot Sentinel dot org again. We execute this script, confirm, and here we can see how all the roles are being transferred to our Sentinel server. Now, if we go back to the Windows server and execute this command again, we can see that actually Windows Server knows that all the main domain roles belong now to the Sentinel Server. We can, for example, now turn off this machine, power of the machine, and we will be able to continue using all the joint clients. They will be able to log into the domain, to use the Kerberos subsystem, DNS records, GPOs, and so on. They will continue working as before without any interruption for the final user. To summarize, we can use Sential as the standalone domain controller, join Sential to a Windows server, Sential to another Sential server, a Windows server to a Sential. Any of these combinations is valid. Using the native Microsoft protocols, and more important for the system administrator in a way that is not disruptive for the final user.